Oh, Baba, did you hear? They're going to draw me today. Hello, welcome back, YouTube artists, to yet another tutorial. Today's character is Una from Puffin Rock. Um, so we're going to draw the cute little bird character, uh, Puffin. Um, and uh, she is adorable. And hopefully you have your three Ps ready to go. Your paper, your pen, and pencil, <laughs> and eraser. Um, as always, please subscribe to our channel. We want to try and get more people to subscribe so that you are notified as soon as a new video comes up. And you can go, oh, the video's up. I gotta go check it out. Um, of course, please send in your requests. Uh, comment below, and uh, we'll draw whatever you want me to draw for you. All right, but today we're going to do Puffin Rock, or Una from Puffin Rock. Okay, so we're going to start off with a nice big oval for the head. All right, and we're going to go straight into the secret magic tea. But this time it's a little bit different. A little bit, a little bit different today. We're going to do our straight line like we always do. But instead of doing a straight across T, we're going to go like that. And actually make that curved line go all the way to the edge of... Alright. So, does that make sense? <laughs> so instead of a nice straight line, we're doing two curvy lines for the magic T. And it'll all make sense in a minute. Um, so the center part that goes up and down straight, the easy part that we like, we're going to make that be the base of a huge triangle, sideways triangle anyway. And once you have that big triangle on the other side of that straight up and down magic T line, we're going to connect the two sides with a very slightly curved line. All right, now we've got the beak of our little puffin friend here. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to make the eyes. And the way we're going to do that is on each side, we're going to... <laughs> As you can tell, I've only drawn Una a few times. All right, so we're going to make a U shape, upside down U. And we're going to do that on both sides. Okay. And inside that U, in fact, the top of the U can be the top of your circle. You're going to draw a circle. All right. And then on the very tippy top of that little U shape for the eye, you're going to draw a little bendy triangle. It's just an eyelash, really. It's, you know, it's just a, one of those little small details. Um, all right, and then what we're going to do for this giant triangle that we made here, we're actually going to, let's get rid of all the lines that are inside of that beak. What do you think? Should we do that now? Yeah, let's do that now. We'll get rid of those magic T lines and everything else, and we're going to make a parallel line that follows the slightly curved line that we made earlier. And we're gonna make one, two parallel lines. Ooh, mine are kinda of not that pretty, huh? Um, so we're gonna make two parallel lines. And then from the, the edge of the beak, or the tip of the triangle here, we're gonna make a nice big smile. Hi, happy, happy. All right, we're gonna do the top of the head here. So what we're going to do is, on the very tippy top of the, the beak here, we're going to go just down a little bit, and we're going to make a curved line. Does that make sense there? So it's, it's just a big curved line. So we're going to start from the beak and go around the eye and down over here to the head. In fact, you can connect it to the head if you like. We're going to do that on both sides. So on this other side of the beak, we're going to do another curved line. So 
Kremlin right there. All right. And believe it or not, there is yet another curve line that goes around the top of the eye. So we're going to just go around. Oh. Just like that. So we're going to make two curve lines that go around the eye. All right. We're going to make the body, which is actually pretty easy. Um, we're going to go to the tip of that beak at the, at the bottom there. And we're going to do a like curved line. We're going to make a J. Hey, it's a big letter J. The letter J. And then on the other side, if you go right, follow the eyeball, right about there, where the end of the eyeball is, we're going to make almost a straight line, but not quite. And the body is actually pretty small, so you don't want to make the body too big. So if you've seen that you made it a little bit big, like I did, I made it a little bit tall. You can use that eraser, the magic eraser, to fix your pencil drawing. All right, so now we've got the body. Almost a straight line, just curved enough. And then the big J connects it. So in, what we're going to do now is we're going to make the chest, and it's just a slightly curved line right here, just slightly past the head. Go down, make a curved line, and then we're going to make a parallel line, parallel with this part, the stomach part. And then she has wings, which are just basically a round V. Big round V right here. Okay. And then she has a little feather up here on the top of her head. And it's just a little triangle. If you can see that. Nice little triangle there. This character's really cute, huh? Um, and then we're going to finish her off with some feet. And they're going to start at the end of their body, right where the chest thing that we made here, and that last line that makes the chest, we're gonna put one foot, which is going to be a long rectangle. And then another long rectangle. Two long rectangles. Then we're gonna have one diagonal line shooting out of each of those rectangles. And then another diagonal line shooting out. So on each end of the rectangle, we have one diagonal line shooting out from one side of it. And then slightly, uh, from the other side, slightly less bent. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to connect them. And look at my notes here. Um, she has three toes, so three little triangles, and then you can just erase the lines. Okay, so what did that? What did I just do? So we have her the foot, and then you got three toes. You can make them prettier. And there she is. It's Una. <laughs> yes, Una from Puff and Rock. Um, Check out uh, drawings or uh, artwork that's online for her colors because being a puffin, uh, she has all kinds of colors all over and it's amazing and it's cool. So let's ink in our drawings. Don't ink in the magic tea, which kind of would be kind of hard at this point because we've already erased the magic tea. Um, hey, I'm gonna need that line. Um, color it and I want to see them. Send them in. Uh, we have a Facebook channel, or I'm sorry, a Facebook page where we're using that to feature your artwork. So send in your artwork, post your artwork on the page, or send it in and we'll put it up for you. Um, we want to showcase your artwork. You're the artist. We want everyone to see it. And 
say, look, I am so proud of my work. And I'm just here to show you the tutorials and you are the true artists that are going to just make them so beautiful and colorful. So um, subscribe to the channel, send in your artwork, um, and send in your requests by writing below on the comment section what you want me to draw. So you put it in and then we put your comments into this bowl and then each week, like right now, I pick out the winner. Or not winner, but I pick out <laughs> what I'm going to draw next. And that, that's my taco. That's my dinner. Um, how'd that get in there? All right, so I'm going to choose a folded piece of paper, which says, okay, so this is actually not a character from a cartoon. This is actually a mouse lemur, which is an animal. Which is fine. You can send a request. We got people sending in requests for animals and objects and things like that. That's fine too. Like I said, send in whatever you want to learn to draw. I'll make a tutorial for it. So next week, a mouse lemur. Right after I look it up on the computer to find out what it looks like. But lemurs in general are pretty cool. So, All right. Keep drawing. The more you do, the better you get. And I'll see you next time.